we are sailing the Greek Isles with Azamara, and today we are in Mykonos. Our planned excursion was canceled due to high winds, something not too unusual for this island, so we are on our own today. Let's see what we can find. We hopped on the ship's bus to take us to the main town, also called Mykonos. Mykonos Island is the second most visited Greek island behind Santorini and offers a vibrant mix of sandy beaches, cosmopolitan shopping, and famous nightlife. So I wanted to remind everyone out there that a lot of times in Europe you have to pay to use public restrooms. Now we're not used to that in the US, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, Mykonos has been known to be expensive. Well, I just paid a whole euro to go to the bathroom, but you know what? It was really clean and it smelled good and the hand dryers worked in 20 seconds. And believe me, you won't always find that otherwise. One of our particular favorite shirts we found. Oh look, a pretty alleyway. Oh look, another pretty alleyway. All the jewelry guys. There's so much jewelry. Stop me, Ryan. Kelly, no. This is Petros, the famous pelican of Mykonos. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I guess that's where you're going. In 1958, a fisherman found a wounded pelican and nursed him back to health on the island. The bird, named Petros by locals, then became the mascot of Mykonos. After his death in 1985, three more pelicans have taken up residence and roamed the alleyways of the main town. I lost Kelly. She went chasing after Petros the pelican and I don't know where she is now. Good thing this city isn't a literal maze or anything like that. really something. <laughs> Sorry, Pigeon, you just don't live up to it. As you meander the pathways, you catch glimpses of the local homes. They were built small due to the scarcity of building materials. Their size and white color help to protect from strong winds and intense heat. But why are the streets so narrow and hard to navigate? Well, that's on purpose, to confuse pirates and keep villagers hidden from their enemies. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. <laughs> well, we made it through the city maze to the windmills. And guess what? It's really windy here. The three-story windmills were built by the Venetians in the 16th century and harnessed the strong northern winds to mill flour. They remained in use until the early 20th century. Many of the island's windmills have been restored to serve as homes or can be rented by visitors. Windmills are a popular site, so behind them is a massive parking lot for both scooters and cars. So, you know, don't be, uh, don't be thrown off by what you see on social media. Sixteen windmills remain on the island, with six of them here in the main town overlooking the harbor. There's a beach just walking distance from the windmills. We're going to the beach. There it is. Oh, it'll be fine. Fine, Kelly. 
had some brief, breezy beach basking. And now we're on our way back to the city to get lost in the maze again on our way back to the ship. You'll find a mix of shops in town. Everything from souvenir shops to high-labeled designer clothes, shoe stores, art galleries, and fine jewelry. And many shops are open until midnight or later. Restaurants, tavernas, and coffee shops are everywhere, so you'll have your pick of places to dine and relax, too. On our way back, we ran straight into a bakery, so we picked up a uh, cheese pasty <laughs> pasty. Whatever one is, it's the one, you know, I never remember. And cheese a, pastry, which is it. And a... Uh, Chocolate filled donut. Yeah, so we're gonna eat it by the ocean side here. Uh, it's the last thing we do in Mykonos. We appreciate you coming along with us on our visit to Mykonos, and as always, thanks for watching us wander.